2016 has been a long, brutal year for celebrity deaths. In addition to the loss of renowned musicians such as David Bowie and Prince, many screen stars have also died this year, from cherished character actors to major movie stars. Here's a look back at the actors and actresses who passed away in 2016. Alan Rickman. After joining the Royal Shakespeare Company in England in the 1970s, Alan Rickman broke out on the big screen in 1988 at the relatively advanced age of 41. But what a breakthrough role it was. Playing the evil Hans Gruber in Die Hard set in motion a career of playing some of Hollywood's most iconic screen villains, such as the Sheriff of Nottingham and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, Judge Turpin and Sweeney Todd, and the secret good guy Professor Severus Snape in all eight Harry Potter movies. Rickman died at age 69 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. Gene Wilder Few would disagree that Gene Wilder was a comic genius. His collaborations with director Mel Brooks were especially fruitful, spawning his memorable turns in The Producers, Blazing Saddles, and Young Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. That would be enough of a legacy for any actor, but Wilder also played the title role in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and starred in three buddy comedy movies with Richard Pryor, cementing his status as a true screen legend. In August 2016, when Wilder died at the age of 83 from complications from Alzheimer's disease, his passing was quite unexpected. He'd apparently concealed his condition from the public because the actor simply couldn't bear the idea of one less smile in the world. Anton Yelchin This Russian-American actor was just beginning to emerge as a major young talent, earning critical praise for his work in Green Room and the Star Trek franchise, among other films. But he tragically passed away at the age of 27 when his vehicle rolled down his driveway and pinned him against a brick pillar in a bizarre accident at his home. Peter Vaughn This tireless character actor was probably best known to American audiences as Maester Eamon on Game of Thrones. But he was also an accomplished star of film and TV for decades before he joined the HBO fantasy series. His standout roles in British comedies and cult classic films made him a star in his homeland before he traveled anywhere near the wall. He was 93. Gary Shandling one of the most prominent stand-up comedians of the 1980s and a pioneer of the observational comedy style, Gary Shandling went on to co-create and star in two of the most forward-thinking TV comedies ever made, his self-titled sitcom and his mockumentary-style dramedy The Larry Sanders Show. Shandling would go on to make a formidable big-screen career for himself, too, but it's his TV work which made him a pop culture icon before his death at his home at the age of 66. Alan Thicke Thanks to his memorable turn as the Seaver family patriarch on TV's Growing Pains, Alan Thicke was beloved as a parental figure for many children of the 80s. Alan Thicke was 69 when he passed, reportedly after playing a game of hockey with his youngest son. Patty Duke At the age of just 16, Patty Duke became the youngest ever Academy Award winner for her role as Helen Keller in 1962's The Miracle Worker, and a year later, she began her small screen turn as identical cousins on the self-titled Patty Duke Show. Her career in film, television, and stage would be long-lived, and she passed on her acting gene to her son, Sean Astin of Lord of the Rings fame. Duke was also a vocal advocate for mental illness awareness after being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She died of sepsis at the age of 69. Gary Marshall While this Hollywood legend might be best known for his work behind the lens, Gary Marshall was also a memorable actor in his time. His boisterous personality made its way to the big screen in Hocus Pocus and A League of Their Own, along with a number of television series. Marshall died at the age of 81. Kenny Baker For Star Wars fans, Kenny Baker's face wasn't the most recognizable part of his presence. He was the actor who brought life to R2-D2 in six of the Star Wars films and became an icon of that franchise. Before visiting a galaxy far, far away, though, he was known for his work as a circus clown and comedian. He was 81 when he passed away after a long illness. John Polito If you've ever seen a Coen Brothers film, chances are you've seen John Polito at his best. The long-working character actor appeared in some of the director's most acclaimed projects. All told, Polito appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows over the course of a three-decades-long career, and was 65 when he died of blood cancer. Alexis Arquette Transgender actress Alexis Arquette was a prominent member of her acting family and was memorable for her big-screen roles in Pulp Fiction and The Wedding Singer, as well as her activism for LGBTQ issues. She was 47 when she passed away. Robert Vaughn Legendary small-screen star Robert Vaughn thrived for decades in the action show sphere. He is perhaps best known for his work in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. and The A-Team. Vaughn was also among the first actors ever to speak out about political views, working with several anti-Vietnam War organizations during his prime, 
and received a PhD in communications. He was 83. Ron Glass. With not one, but two cult hits on the small screen, Ron Glass is best known for his scene-stealing work as Sergeant Harris and Barney Miller. But sci-fi fans will probably know him best for his role as Shepard Book in the short-lived and beloved series Firefly. He was 71. Alice Drummond. One of the most recognizable character actresses of all time, Alice Drummond popped up in dozens of movies and TV shows since the late 60s when she moved from the New York stage to the screen. One of her most famous appearances may have been in the original Ghostbusters, but she starred in dozens of films and TV shows before passing away at the age of 88. Margaret Witten Major League fans might remember Margaret Witten best for her turn as the mean team owner Rachel Phelps, but in real life she was an avid fan of the sport. The actress worked on multiple media throughout her career, including movies and the stage, and was 67 when she died. Zsa Zsa Gabor a predecessor of Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian, Zsa, Zsa Gabor pioneered the idea of being famous for being famous. The Hungarian-born Gabor was married at least eight times, almost always to wealthy tycoons of one sort or another. She still managed an acting career of sorts, appearing in films and TV shows in the 50s and 60s, such as the original Moulin Rouge, and as the seductive Minerva on the campy Batman. After suffering from a series of illnesses and injuries over the past few years, Gabor passed away at the age of 99 on December 18th. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.